You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Have you ever tried to reach success only to keep falling down again and again? Welcome to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. Shiraz is here to discuss the different ways our belief systems and the stories we tell ourselves create the reality we live in. Listen as Shiraz removes your limiting beliefs and changes your reality. So now, please welcome the host of Energetic Magic, Shiraz. Welcome to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Shiraz, and this week we are talking about the knowing-doing gap. So you may know what you want to do. You may know the steps. Uh, you may know what's necessary to create um, wealth in your life, success, a great relationship. But for some reason, you can't step into that doing part. What is keeping you from moving forward? So... That's what's going on today. Ooh, okay, the audience is already reacting. Cool. So if you'd like to discuss any of that and get some blocks cleared around it, the number to call is one 451 1451 So for those of you new to the show, I am Shiraz. I am a belief shifter and energy facilitator. And what I do is obviously help people to shift their beliefs. So I have found through my experience that your beliefs create your entire reality around you. But the problem is that most of the beliefs are subconscious beliefs. And uh, we don't have a lot of control around those from the, from the conscious mind for based on the tools that we've been given growing up. So on this show, when people call in, I have a conversation with them and I can tell when your conscious beliefs match your subconscious beliefs. And when they don't, you are lying. Now, I don't care if you're lying to me, but it's important when you realize you're lying to yourself. And when we find a lie, what we'll do is dig deeper and find out what the belief is that makes what you're saying a lie. When we find that, get to that belief, I'm going to ask, are you willing to destroy the belief? If you say yes and you mean it, then the belief gets snuffed out in that moment. You have to mean it, though, or else it's not really going to work. And uh, you may feel a shift when that happens. Uh, oftentimes people are on the show and they will feel uh, lighter and happier, energy moving in their body or even physical things um, from um, tingles to if it's a really deep emotional thing, people have felt nausea. So, And we haven't had it on the radio show, but in some of my classes, some really deep things came up and people actually threw up at the release of all that energy and the belief. So it's amazing what can happen. As far as I'm concerned, uh, my body reacts to energy shifting as well. So when you start to shift, uh, I will yawn or I will cough. So expect to hear that during the show. And it'll happen when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people that call in or just when I'm reacting to the energy of the, the listening audience out there. And uh, I'm already sort of feeling it now and holding back a cough so I can get this whole spiel out so everyone knows what I'm doing. So hold on just a sec. There we go. And that's the nice thing is that oftentimes people are just listening in and just the energy of the show causes shifts to happen. And uh, so you, you can spend the entire time just taking in the energy and you don't, I mean, I recommend you call in so we can have some conversations going on, but I have had people come to workshops and uh, not say anything during the workshop and then give me a call or an email the next day that said, oh my God, like this just happened after the workshop. I had uh, a lady that was in chronic pain in, an, in her arm for seven years, didn't say anything during the workshop, called the next day, the pain was gone. So there's some cool things that can happen as a result of changing your beliefs. So 
Again, if you want to call in and get worked on, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So, um, sorry, I'm still reacting to the energy here. The knowing doing gap. This is this is a big one. I've been a victim of this myself. And it's interesting because I was just working on a client this afternoon that was uh, exa- going through exactly this sort of problem in that she she knew what she had to do. And she kept saying, I, I just keep don't I keep not doing it. I keep distracting myself. I I keep uh, finding ways to to and excuses not to do these things and procrastination, procrastination, procrastination. So why do we do this, especially if we know the thing we want to do is going to bring us success? It's going to bring us happiness, possibly bring us money. Why don't we want to do it? So there's a bunch of reasons that come up. And of course, it's going to be different for each person. But uh, ooh, some people out there are going into resistance now. This is cool. Um, so number one is what's it going to look like on the other side? All right. So as much as people, let's just talk about success, as much as people want success, they don't know what their life is going to look like when that success hits, especially if you haven't had any success, if you've been struggling and struggling and struggling. And here's this opportunity to have huge success, have have freedom um, to make these big changes in your life. You have no um, anchor to that. You have no place of familiarity. And so rather than step into that reality, which is foreign, which is scary, you stay where it's comfortable. And it's, it's interesting how many people choose comfort, choose the safety of what they know, even if it sucks over that new experience that's supposed to be wonderful, but is completely unknown. So this is, this is the advice I, I give to people. Just go do it. Right? You don't know what's going to happen. It, you know, you may crash and burn, but you know, if you crash and burn, that's a new experience. It's different from what you're you're doing. You may become incredibly successful. That's a different experience from what you're doing. And even if you crash and burn, then you've learned how not to do what you thought you were going to do. It doesn't mean you stop there and say, "Okay, I failed." It means, "Okay, I've learned that. Now let's try again and move ahead again." And if you crash and burn again, then okay, now I know that's another way not to do this. Let's try again. And wow, so many people are going into fear in that one. So there's that fear of failure coming up. And what you want to do is re redefine failure. You want to look at it from a different place. And that failure isn't a bad thing. Failure is just learning. So the way I look at it, not succeeding isn't failure. That's learning. Not trying. Stopping trying. That's failure. And so... When I have something I want to do, I keep trying and trying and trying over and over and over again until I succeed at it or another thing presents itself that is bigger and better than the thing that I was trying to do. Because these are the things I found with the universe is sometimes you're failing. (laughs) Wow, that hit some people. (coughs) There we go. Sometimes you're failing because you're trying to go and do the wrong thing or go down the wrong path. And the universe is just sort of sending these signals, no, 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 no. And then in the middle of that, you'll go, oh, you know what? This is actually what feels good for me. But unless you conquer that knowing, doing gap and try that thing, you're not going to find out whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. And we're going to talk more about right and wrong and how they don't actually exist a little later. Uh, But you want to explore you want to have that experience and you're going to find that although it seems scary it's really not you have been through so many new experiences in your life that were unexpected uh, and that were intentional and that were just a, a part of of growing up and but as soon as you say okay now it's important and now this, this is the big thing it suddenly gets more scarier the paralysis sets in but remember that we were born without a concept of failure, right? Uh, we didn't know how to fail. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. 
Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like... I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 B.C. when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3,000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and we're talking about the knowing-doing gap. And we have a couple callers, but before, before we get on, I was talking about how we were born not knowing failure. And there's a very simple proof of this is that uh, if you ever look at a little baby that's learning to walk for the first time, the baby doesn't have a concept of failure. How many babies have you seen try to walk and try to walk and then say, you know what, screw it, I'm not meant to walk. It's just not going to happen. It's, they don't know failure. They just know try and try until you get it. So uh, first caller, Arthur, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing, actually. Cool. So how can we help you? Oh, well... I recently uh, decided to become an entrepreneur or, or a partner with someone who is an entrepreneur on mm-hmm. course standing and uh, just all the stuff that I'm capable of doing. I'm just not sure, like, like okay, I'm, I can be a dance teacher. I can do coaching through energetic magic or law of attraction. I can do stuff like, uh, there's all this stuff I can do, but I'm not sure, like, where, where to start. And I want to build all these businesses, but it's like, which one do I go with? Like, which one would be the most effective or the one that produces the most money, pretty much? I'm, kind of, I'm not sure where to start. Well, with me, I don't really go by which is going to produce the most money. I, I go by which is going to make me happiest, which is the one that pulls me the most. And that way you're getting into that energy of I'm doing something I love. And when you're doing something you love, that that again pulls in money, but it also pulls in more opportunities. And once you get that business going, that thing going, and it's steady and it's working and you're good at it, then you go into the next thing. You know, I know a lot of people that have all these opportunities and they try to do them all at once and it just divides their attention way too much. So which of those really pulls to you? I think writing posts to me the most. There's okay. this uh, online platform called Web Novel that I was thinking I want to write fiction on that and also mm-hmm. uh, other stuff. Like, I want to be an author. Mm-hmm. Either of a book or a blog or an online writer or something like that. And, I, like, for me, writing is one of the funnest things for me. So I think after what you just told me, I think I'm going to just write a ton of stuff every day. Just do it, as you said. It makes a lot of sense for me because absolutely the funnest thing for me and I'm good at it cool alright is that it well I still have you on the call I'm trying to like actually yeah you know what that is everything I think I'm good yeah thank you you're welcome alright Diane yes this is Diane there you are okay sorry about that what's going on Uh, my thing is I know what I need to do 
Mm-hmm. Like my room is cluttered and I have like so much stuff there and I know I have to deal with it. And every time I look at it, I get overwhelmed and I just, I can't, I feel like I can't seem to get through this clutter. Okay. Do you have to do all the clutter all at once? No, I keep telling myself, pick one thing and just, you know, do one thing at a time. Mm-hmm. And then you and, don't do the I, one thing. No, I don't do it. I don't end up doing it. Okay. So what's... small. Okay. So what's at the end of cleaning the room? You need peace of mind. See, that's not actually coming up as true. Once the room's all clean, what's the next step? Dealing with me. Dealing with you. That was what popped in. Yeah, that's what popped in my head. (laughs) Yeah. So, so if at the end of this room now you've actually got to deal with yourself and start to really look at what's going on with you. Oh, mm-hmm. that that doesn't sound like, you know, oh, that sounds like a fun, joyous thing. That sounds like, you know what? Let's keep putting that off. <laughs> right? sure. So what if, oh, what's the thing that you have to deal with? Accepting, accepting my flaws and everything, the things that I choose to look away mm-hmm. Of and you, you don't want to accept your flaws? I, I, yeah, like in theory, yes, I would love to, but like emotionally and trying to do it is a different story. It's just, uh, uh, uh. I find it difficult. <laughs> okay. So are you supposed to be perfect? No. Okay, that's not coming up as true. Um, wow, and the question actually coming up is, who are you supposed to be perfect for? Who am I supposed to be perfect for? Yes. Me, the world, I guess? I don't know. Mm, yeah, the world, actually. The world is the world came up as true there. So the world is a very fickle place at times. You know? <laughs> so trying to be perfect for the world means you have to be perfect for every person the way they want you to be perfect. And that's a, pretty much an impossibility. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to make yourself perfect for the world. Yes. (coughs) (coughs) Wow, that one actually made me sweat. And you see that the difficulty there in, in, you know, it is impossible to make yourself perfect for the world. So if you have to finish cleaning your room and then try to take on the impossible, it's better not to get that room cleaned up because then you're just facing impossible. Mm, Gotcha. So what if you don't have to be perfect? I'll die with her away. No, we won't talk about it. <laughs> so the only way not to die and wither away is to be perfect. That's what's going on there. So do you know any people that are not perfect that are happy and successful? Yeah. Okay, so why aren't they dying and withering away if they're not perfect? Because it's a made-up belief that I took on for some reason. Okay, so let's dig deeper into that after the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic. 
Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, jobsannex.com is your resource for career-minded people. Jobsannex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at jobsannex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. Jobsannex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and we're talking about the knowing doing gap. And if you have any blocks, limited beliefs you'd like to get cleared, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So we're on with Diane right now talking about being perfect. So, Diane, we talked about there's other people out there that are not perfect, yet they're successful, yet they're happy. And you've got this belief that you need to have perfection in your life. Whew. Yeah, you're not the only one. I'm getting the energy off a bunch of other people right now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, so whew. do you need to be perfect for you or do you need to be perfect for other people? For me. Okay, that's not quite true. And this is it's something right. that comes... Yeah, so this is what comes up for a lot of people. There's some people that are looking to be perfectionists themselves, but then there's other people that want to be seen by everyone else as perfect. Right? They're only going to be accepted if they're perfect. They're only going to become successful if they're perfect. Everyone has to look at them the right way. So let's just look at that right now. So when you are concerned about how everyone else is perceiving you and you're trying to be perfect for everyone then you get stuck right there because when you're trying to be perfect for everyone and one person wants you to do it one way and one person wants you to do it the other way you can't go in either direction so you just stay where you are so oof, wow okay there's a lot of people on reacting to this one so when you stop giving a crap about what anyone thinks, then you don't have to be perfect for anyone, then that creates freedom for you. Then you can start making decisions, then you can start taking action. And and the thing that's coming up for that though is then when you take action, how are they gonna react? Again, stop giving a crap about how they react. Right? So my philosophy is as long as I'm not intentionally trying to hurt anyone, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want and screw what people think. And that's what gives me that freedom to just keep moving forward and trying new things. So, wow. So it's, what's go, what coming up is who, whose opinion do you care about most about what you're doing with your life? Hmm. I would say my mother okay so can you 
Yeah. <laughs> so can oh, you, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Can you do anything that your mother will not approve of? I've already done it already. <laughs> okay. How do you feel when you do something she doesn't approve of? Oh, like shit, like really crappy, crappy, crappy. Yeah, yeah. So even though some, sometimes you'll do things she doesn't approve of, because you've got that feeling, you're going to try and minimize as much as you can so you don't have that feeling. All right. So you've basically given power of your life over to your mother. And it, you know, it does sound kind of like uncaring on the surface, but you have to not give a crap what your mom thinks of you. All right. It doesn't mean you love your mother any less. Right. It just means that you stop giving her control of your decisions. And if she gets upset, she'll get upset. But when you did the other things that she didn't approve of, did she get over it or is she still angry about it all? She got over it. Yeah. So you've got you've got the evidence in the example there. She'll get over it. So if you're willing to let her get upset, get over it and get upset and get over it until she finally realizes you're just going to keep doing what you want to do. And then she, there's no point in getting upset. You create this new dynamic with your mom. So the belief that you need to only do things that your mom will approve of, are you willing to destroy that? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> okay. And are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to create change in smaller ways so your mom reacts in smaller ways? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. That was because of me. Yeah. And this is the thing. A lot of people do this. They're, they they know a reaction is going to come. So how can we minimize that? And so what you're actually saying is, how can I minimize my growth and my happiness so people don't get upset? Right? And when you look at it that way, it seems like a silly thing to ask yourself. But most people don't look at it that way. They just look at, oh, how do I minimize that reaction? I don't want to have to go through that reaction. I don't want to have to go through the ensuing argument or fight that's going to happen. Even though on the other side of that, there is happiness, there is freedom, there is growth, there is money, you know, it's all this other stuff. But we, we create a wall around the intermediary action and experience from where we are and where we want to where we want to be and we stop ourselves so it's it's incredible if you're willing to go through whatever crap shows up no matter how bad because you know on the other side of it there's all this cool stuff then you'll just start pushing through and when you when you're in that place that no matter how bad it is i'm going to go through it because i know the stuff that's good is on the other side the universe tends to not give you the worst of the crap and you know you go through maybe a little bit and sometimes you don't go through any because you you've created this scenario of it's, it's going to be horrible and then when you actually start the doing you're like wait a sec it's not horrible it's actually working out so are you willing to destroy the belief that you can't move forward unless you know things are going to work out yes <laughs> okay, how's that feel? Better, worse, same, or different? Last one felt, um, I feel like it's a knot in my stomach. Um, not my stomach, sorry, my throat. Okay. All right, so let's look at that when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. 
Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. We are currently with Diane. Diane, how's the throat feeling? Feeling better. Feeling better. So usually when something comes up in the throat during a clearing, it's about either about communication or about truth, and oftentimes both. So what I'm picking up is the communication you're going to have to have with your mom as you move forward doing things that you Oh, and there's a few other people in there, too. That's interesting. So are you allowed to speak your truth? Yes. Okay, that was about half a yes. (laughs) So what happens when you speak your truth to people? Get mad, angry, flashback. So what's more important, your truth or people not getting mad? Truth. Not quite there. So are you willing to destroy the belief that it's more important to keep other people from getting upset and angry than to stand in your truth? Yes. (laughs) again every time you are being careful adjusting your life monitoring your actions for the sake of other people's reaction you are trapping yourself and the other, but the other thing that comes up is sometimes you don't have to talk about your truth to everyone. You can just do your thing, create your life the way you want without having to you know, share it with anyone. And then they'll just look later and go, what did you do? Everything's so different for you. Right. Uh, one of my old mentors used to use the expression just for me, just for fun. Don't tell anyone. And this is a big thing because. I know a lot of people, they have their plans and their ambitions and they're sharing it with people, but they're sharing it with people that have completely different beliefs and ideas and are like, you can't do this or that's crazy and you shouldn't do that. And so you're just met with all this resistance. But what if you just don't tell anyone, you go do it. And once you're done, then you can say, you know what I was doing the, the last few months? Well, there it is. It's working. It's great. And then you don't have to deal with that resistance, but there's this need to to share what's going on and while i'm saying while i'm not saying keep everything secret 
monitor who you talk to people. There's there's people in your life that are supportive, that are uplifting. That's who you want to share your ambitions with because they're not only going to say, yeah, go for it. They'll probably say, you know what? I know someone that could probably help you with that and it's going to propel you forward. But then there's other people that are like, that's not you or that's not possible or that's that seems reckless. And if you know that's the reaction you're going to get, why even have that conversation? So... Mm -hmm. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to share all your ambitions? Yes. <coughs> and the reason we get to that belief that we have to share our ambitions is really because we want to get approval. We want people to say, yes, go do that. And when you get out of that that belief and just say, you know, I'm just going to go do that. I don't need the approval. Then you're going to actually do things. How are you feeling? Good. Cool. Anything else? That's good. <clears throat> no, that's all. All right. Thank well, you thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. So next we, bye. Next we have Charlotte. Charlotte, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, actually, just what you were clearing for her kind of like brought up some stuff with me too when you said this, just for me, just for fun. What did you say? No need to tell everyone or no need to don't, tell anyone? Don't tell anyone. Yeah, pretty much the same. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, no, I just really, uh, anyways, I really like thought I felt something with that because uh, that's something I'm dealing with. So for me, I'm... I have, when you talk about the, I, talk, I think about this a lot, the, the difference of where the, what, what is the problem, what is the, the delay or the, the, the block between knowing what you want, like for me, knowing what I want, and yet I'm doing something different, and definitely it's not so much a fear of failure, but a fear, it's a big fear, but it's not, not that I will fail at it, but that I will... I guess I guess it is failure, but it's it's more like uh like what will I do like if I how do I do it like how do I do it like I don't know how to to get out of what I'm doing and start doing what I want to do. But you know what you want to do. Yes. I have lots of ideas of things I'd like to do. Okay. What's what's the big thing you want to do right now? Well, I have lots of things. Maybe that's the problem. I can't narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You have to start with one thing and and move forward that with that one thing. Oh. I, there's so many people yeah, out there. They say I've got so many ideas and so many possibilities, and then they just yeah. don't, don't do any of them. That's me. Okay. I have so, lots of ideas of things I would like to do, which is nice, but then I don't do any of them because I'm either afraid or I don't know how, or I'm so busy, I'm really busy living the life that I'm living right now. Okay. So you're that so busy do, living your life right now, you don't have time to create anything. Kind of. Well, no, not quite, not quite. No, 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 that's not true. No, okay. I mean, I have, I have time for the things that I, uh, I don't have time or I don't use my time mm -hmm. to, uh, to pursue one of the many ideas that things I'd like to do. <laughs> And I'm kind of scattered, I guess. I don't think I really realized that before calling in. I don't okay. think I realized that I, um, you know, that the the things that I, like, I, I'm like, okay, how do I stop doing this nine to five thing, which is good. No, and maybe I don't really want, I don't know. Now I feel distracted, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. We'll see if we can get some focus going on here. So... Of the things that you, all these ideas that you have, is there one that sticks out? Yeah. I want to write, I, oh God, yeah, there is, okay. Okay. So you've got that, you want to write something. Pardon? So that's, you want to write something, that's the big thing that sticks out? 
Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take a break and look at that when we come back. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. There are artists, and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Colde Beaux Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20 year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Welcome back, Daniel. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and we're talking about the knowing-doing gap. And right now, we have Charlotte. Charlotte, you want to write a book? No, I want to write. Um, <laughs> I want. To, no, I want to write uh, like a uh, TV show. Oh, TV show. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I right. want to write a few. <laughs> like I have the ideas in my head. Lots of them. I talk about them all the time. But I I don't write them. I just talk about them and think about them. Okay. So what's it going to take to get you writing? I think I don't know how. Like I I have the ideas, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. Like I think it's a good idea. Um, mm-hmm. You know, they're good ideas. And I have all these ideas, and uh, but I I don't know how. I, I feel like I don't know how to do it. Okay, like that's great. Like format or something like maybe I have to take a score for something. So yeah, then, there's like, a lot of resources out there on how to do that, and they're easily accessible. But yet you haven't taken those steps because you're just in this place of I have the ideas, so I'm not going to move forward. All right. So yeah. if we get you moving forward, there's with with television shows, there's. There's a lot of things out there. You, you can start writing scripts. You can create a series Bible. There's, I've, I've actually worked with people that have done this before. and uh, But it, it is making that decision that this is what I'm going to do. right? And this is a big thing for a lot of people is really that decision. This is what I'm doing. And now let's start taking the steps. Because there's so many people out there that say, this is what I'd like to do. But their energy is not in... I'm doing it. It's just in, I'd like to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. And, and this, it's an important thing because when your energy is in, I like to do it, then you get different results. Um, it's not just in your action, but when you make a decision, I'm going to do it, the universe starts to just throw things at you. Resources just start to show up that you didn't expect. Like you'll see something pop up on your, your news feed or you'll get a, a phone call out of the blue or a headline will catch your eye. And But when you're just in, I'd like to do it and your energy's not in, I'm, actually, I'm not gonna actually gonna move forward. I'm just gonna think about it and wonder about it. Yeah, then nothing happens. So, right. so if that's what you really want to do, are you willing to to move forward and actually take steps to do it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Oof. 
And how do you feel when you think, okay, yes, I'm going to do this? Challenge. Okay. Challenge like, has overwhelmed. Like, yeah. Kind of yeah. Overwhelmed, yeah. Like, ooh, like, okay, like I have all these ideas, and then like the idea of taking a course seems like it seems really daunting, like something I do not want to do. Um, I don't really love. I don't really. I'll be honest. I don't really like taking. This sounds kind of stupid, but I don't really like the idea of taking this of a course on how to do it. Seems very daunting and challenging, and like something that isn't going to be fun, and and, and that I, it will be a lot of work, and I'll give up. And so you notice uh, that you've con already constructed an entire story on what's going to happen without actually knowing what's going to happen. Yeah. But no I one said you had to take a so, course. Right. I know. I don't know why I put this in my head because <laughs> I can kind of picture a nice outcome, like a really nice outcome of like being able to like shop the shows and like, you know, like, like I, I kind of like can picture so much about these shows and how they would look and all this. I just don't know how to take it from in my head to out in the universe. So that's where you start taking the action, writing it down, uh, just doing some research and saying, and finding out, okay, wh who's shopping around this kind of genre? Who's there? Are, there are things like pitch fests that are going on all the time where you can take in your idea. And even if you've got no experience, you'll get put in front of a panel of judges. You get to pitch what your idea is, and then it can move forward from there if you do well. So there's, there's all these things out there, but mm -hmm. it's, you, you've got to say, okay, I'm doing this. I'm going to find out how to do this. And I'm going to do what I need to, to make my dream come true. Oh. Right. And, and just like I was talking about earlier, it's like, if you're like thinking, oh, but it might be, it might be daunting or it might be a lot of work. So I'm just not going to do it. Well, then you're denying yourself everything that comes on the other side of that. Right. Mm. But if you're, if you're willing to go through whatever the hell it takes to create your dream, Mm -hmm. then things move forward to you, for you. And and trust me, like I've been through this process a few times and even though it looks like, oh my God, I'm going to have to do all this stuff. Once you've made that decision and you're determined, things that seem daunting can fall away or you actually start to enjoy doing them and you didn't expect mm -hmm. to. And there's all, all these different possibilities start showing up. Mm. So, oof. Okay. Oh, okay, so the other thing's coming up. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you're not going to start unless you know your show will be received? <laughs> Ow, there is the resistance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, yeah, yeah, I am willing to destroy. I did. <laughs> that, I did realize that I, I have that belief. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, how's that feel? Yeah, I feel um, I feel kind of like a like a quick quick heartbeat. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so get started and then come back and check in with us. We'll see how you're doing. Um, absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for being on. All right, next we have Mandy. Mandy, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. How can we help you today? Um, well, it's a uh, theme with the throats today. I, uh, mm -hmm. For me, it's actually to the point where it's at such a level, like I've been doing the work and trying to figure it out, but it's at such an energetic level that um, I can sense it on such an energetic level, but like literally, even when I'm just trying to speak, the words will literally just get like stuck, like it's literally stuck in my throat and I okay. can't get it out. Yeah, it's really strange. So what don't you want to say? I don't know. It's like some part of me is really hiding. Okay. And why don't you want to be seen then? Fear and shame. Shame of what? I, I think it's... Yeah. I think it's really old. It feels it feels very. I don't even know if it's from this lifetime. Okay. Okay. So. 
Yeah, hide. Are you? Yeah. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to hide anything you feel will not be accepted? Ow! Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like not coming out. <laughs> okay. There's also a bunch of people out there that are reacting to that. Okay. So, okay, it's weird clearing. Are you willing to destroy the belief that if you show the thing you're trying to hide, you will die? Whoa, I'm feeling like there's a movement and I want to say yes, like on the right track. Okay. So we'll go deeper into that when we come back from the breaks. So this is Shraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and Tune In Radio. We're going to ask that question again, Mandy. Are you willing to destroy the belief that if you show the thing you're trying to hide, you will die? I want to say yes. But okay. I want to say yes. yes like, I like, want like, to say yes is not a yes. Is it? You just have to say yes. Well, no? It's almost... And it's almost like, am I allowed to say yes? <laughs> That's up to you. I want to say yes. How do I help that part of me say yes? You just say yes. You make that decision and say yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 Okay. Yeah. Who are you trying to protect? I think my dad. Okay. Maybe. So are you willing to destroy the belief that it's your responsibility to protect your dad? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I want to destroy the belief that it's my responsibility to protect anybody. Okay. okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that better, worse, the same, or different? I feel about the same. Okay. So who are you if you're not the protector? Oh. I, I, I lost, purposeless, I guess, maybe. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that your purpose and your role is protector? Yes. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that could be quite tiring. Are you willing to destroy the belief that people won't get along, be happy, or even survive unless you protect them? Yes, yes please. <laughs> Ooh. Tiring. Okay. Yeah. 
Take so up a much lot responsibility. Of yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Is that better? I think so. I felt the movement. Like an okay. expansiveness in the movement. Cool. Thank All you. right. You're welcome. Thanks for being on. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, coming up this month, uh, oh, and next month. So, uh, in May, we've got the start of the Hard Truth series. We've got one running on Sunday night and one that's almost full, and one running on Tuesday mornings. So, we can co cover different time zones for people. And that's 10 weeks of me having conversations with you where it is the hard truth. I'm not holding back. I'm not pulling punches. If you're pulling crap, I'm just going to call you on it. And uh, people have been very excited about this program. I'm not quite sure why, but <laughs> it's happening. So if you're interested in that, go to my website, energeticmagic.com, and look it up and sign up. Uh, on June 8th and 9th, uh, we're doing Energetic Magic Level 1 in Toronto. There's already a lot of interest in this class. It's going to be a big one. So I invite you guys to show up for that. And, of course, on May 1st, our, the next 25-day program comes up. And it's kind of funny just hearing what people were talking about today because that's on finding your path. So I'm going to be working on the energy of the group for 25 days, uh, doing some calls with them and getting them on their paths. Um, yeah, so it's quite a bit coming up. Next Monday uh, in Toronto, we're doing Law of Attraction in Relationships, a live show uh, coming up for that. And on Tuesday, our uh, monthly free calls are going on. Of course, all of this, if you go to the website, you'll find information on it. Um, there's also, I've also listed a whole bunch of upcoming online workshops uh, and uh, they're going to be a lot of fun. But that's it for this week. I'll be back again next week and a whole new topic. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio saying be well, be aware and be magical. You've been listening to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. What if by changing the beliefs that you don't even realize you have, you could create magic in your life? Listen each week as Shiraz will help you identify and remove those subconscious beliefs, releasing the hold they have on you here on Energetic Magic. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.